Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be doing a tour of our Lego Medieval Castle section. It's, I've up, made some changes, done some updates, and I want to show you guys everything that's going on in it. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any of the videos on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting into our Lego Castle update after the intro coming in here now. So we're going to start this tour by taking a quick look at our village of Nottingham. And I say quick look because we're not going to be spending a lot of time on the village itself. There is a new set coming out and that's going to be making some changes in there. And, and then here is our Sherwood Forest. We're not going to be spending much time on our Sherwood Forest either, unfortunately. That hasn't really changed since the last video that I did. I'll put a link in here if you want to see more on Sherwood Forest. And here is a look at our farm and our blacksmith and as it moves on into our Nottingham Village. And you can see our Camelot Castle there in the background uh, and we will be doing some changes in there but we're gonna start by taking a look at the jousting section because I made some good changes here and I really wanted to give the jousting section a nice focal point and really help you know bring it to life a little bit better than it had been I'd always been kind of just cramming it in certain areas and I really wanted to make it stand out better and I think that it's coming along very nicely um, I just used a gray base plate underneath it and just tried to get uh, you know build up around it um, but I think it worked out well and you can see this is a both of these are classic uh, Black Knight uh, minifigures vintage Lego castle minifigures that I have jousting in here right now and here is Prince John um, he plays a pretty big part in my Lego castle adventure if you haven't seen that yet and then these two knights here, there are a couple of vintage minifigures as well. They just have different helmets on them. And then here's another side look at Sherwood Forest. Um, and again, more at the mill and our farm and everything. With the new medieval market uh, square coming, I, and everything in our village here is going to be changing, or a lot of it. So that's why I'm not going to be spending, you know, any time here on the village. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like as of right now. But it's going to be changing, so stay tuned for that. Um, and then over here. Uh, you can see behind where the new Magisto's Magical Workshop is and here it is on the front side this is the new one I showed you guys a bit of the old one earlier and here is the Magisto that it should have came with and the Magisto that it did come with but that's a whole nother story there and then here is our Camelot Castle and I got a couple of changes that I made in there that um, I had been really meaning to get to so I'm excited to show it all what's going on for you guys. Um, but it's, it's a pretty big castle. It's got uh, a few different official sets tied in as well as some stuff I mocked together. But here is our Camelot Market. Um, I didn't do a lot of changes to the market itself, but I just, um, the way the castle fits in with it, um, the tiles that are underneath it, because I have the castle raised up a whole stud so you can open up the back and close it and everything. And so I really wanted to tie that in a little bit better. And I think that that's coming together nicely. And you can see I can open it or close it so I can access, uh, um, everything on the inside. Uh, this is the preferred way I, I like to it displayed with that section closed and the other side open. Um, but I like maintaining that play feature. 
um, as we get a look at the midi our little Camelot village and again the changes that I made are down here at the base of the castle you know really making it feel more seamless and integrated and everything like that and, and I think that it's you know coming together nicely and everything so you know that's that one change and as we get a look at this side of the Camelot Castle here, see all the different things I got going on in it. And then here is the opposite side, and it's got um, the old uh, 2009 King's Castle that I've made, like part of the fortress that is my Camelot Castle. And it's got the medieval jousting set, the kingdom's joust out in front, because I think that makes a great like gatehouse. But here is the main change that I made, and that is our Knights of the Round Table. I wanted a nice like showpiece area on the inside of the castle, and you know make a nice round table for all of my knights. And there's King Arthur with his Excalibur sword, and Merlin on the right of him, and Queen Guinevere on the left, and then all my different Knights of the Round Table. Um, all my Crusaders faction and then these weapon racks that came with the castle I pulled them out put them down here as well you can see there's a four, uh, wolf pack guy he's locked in the prison over there um, that might play a role at some point in the future of my Lego castle adventures as well and you see these little like red like carpeting I just put down just some just to add some color on the inside of the castle a little bit and you can see over here this still opens up and I haven't this is pretty much as is because you know I like this set the how it came I just I wanted to be able to open and close it like I said and just had to get some tiles down in there um, just working with the best that I have uh, at my availability at the time in this uh, video and so um, it's just being able to open and close it and you know access it that was you know my main objective and you know it works out well and then there is a, another shot at the rest of our village from this point of view because again it's going to be changing in the not too distant future so you know definitely stay tuned for that uh, if you're into castle and medieval content and here is the rest of my castles real quick um, this stuff hasn't changed here since my last videos um, these are all uh, fantastic castles some are official sets some are stuff that I've mocked and modded and stuff like that but lots of different factions if you're a big fan of Lego castle content you know definitely stay tuned for more of that but that's my video for you guys today thanks for watching please hit a like on the way out and uh, I think I appreciate everyone watching see you in the next one hey thanks for watching and don't forget we got merch store if you want to take a little piece of the show with you you can get it right here we got everything you want some Mikey J stuff we got the Mikey J productions for you so take a chance and stop by we'll take care of you